You're watching KOS. Keep on shooting. Hello, guys, and welcome back to the channel KOS. Keep on shooting. As always, thank you for being here. I appreciate it. So, for today, guys, we'll be talking pouch release. I have a can tap there in the portable catch box. Uh, you guys can see that, but it's right there. I have a camera here to give you a better angle. Let's see if we can shoot it at 10 meters. This is a difficult target at this distance. Let's see how many shots it takes us to make it spin. Oh, just over it. Let's try that again. And there it is. Boom. Made it spin. <laughs> All right. Let's go over pouch release. Stick around, guys. Here's my target. And that's where we shot it. To make it spin. So let's get started with the video. So I've been asked by many viewers if I could please do a video on my pouch release or what works for me. So I know the last Boy Scout, Anna, Adrian, and Outdoor Pixie messaged me in relation to this topic. So I'll do my best to explain it. I know there's thousands upon thousands of videos on YouTube. You can just type it in on the search bar on pouch release. And there's a lot of infor information out there or informative videos that you could probably look up. But if my take helps you, then here you go. All right, so when it comes to pouch release, guys, I mean, there's a lot of ways you can grip your pouch. I've seen many shooters grip here. They put the piece of ammo in the pouch. Make sure it's centered. And then place it on this area of the finger, right here on the top. They follow that by placing the thumb just on top. And this is how, how they shoot. They line up, line up the bands and just release the pressure. And that's how some people shoot. I've also seen some people, they place it right here on the finger, on the middle. And they use this middle part of the index finger and just drop it down, just like that. And they can get a clean release this way. It almost looks like a mechanical release. You're letting or re releasing the pressure like this instead of that. The other one I've seen that people also do is they use the first line, the first crease of your finger, and they place it right here. And then they put the finger right on the top, right there. As you can see, very similar to the one over here, this position. But instead of that, it's right here on the first crease. And they release like that. The way I shoot, I use my fingertips. So I place the ball right here. And this finger, just drop it on top. And I make sure my band is aligned with that top band. My, I mean, my thumb is aligned with the top band there. So this is how it looks. If I were to shoot thumb down, this will be how I will be releasing the pouch. A short draw that's how it will look so there's many ways you can grip the pouch and of course you want to keep the fundamentals you want to make sure you're just grabbing the ammo not in front of the ammo although if you can get a clean release by 
pressing on the pouch instead of the ammo? Hey, all power to you. You can do that. I've seen many shooters shoot like this with their finger, almost a ball. Let me see if I can give you a better angle. Just like that. It just depends what style or what gripping method you're gonna be utilizing. So nobody can tell you what's right or wrong. It's completely up to you, whatever you decide to choose. Uh, I've seen some shooters actually shoot all the way over here on the index finger. They put their thumb on top and that's how they release. All right guys, so on my pouch release, I'm using this point right here and right here. So those are the two points of contact that I make with the pouch or the ammo. And then when I'm holding the pouch, give me a second. When I'm holding the pouch, sorry about the wind. I put the pouch right here on that dot. So it's aligned right there. And this, that point right there comes down to the top. And it's not straight this way, but it's straight this way. And that's what you wanna watch out for. Having that straight thumb in alignment with your bands. So with an ammo or, or a piece of ammo, this is how it would look. Put the ball in the pouch. Put it right there on my point of contact. With my second point of contact, come right on top. Boom. And as you can see, it's aligned with the bands. Now, if you choose this part of the finger right here on top of the bone structure, you can just put it there. And this point of contact can just come down right here. And that's how you will release. This hold or this uh, type of holding method was never very comfortable to me. I tried it and I used it for a while, but I mean, I don't like anything sitting on top of my bone. It just became uncomfortable for me over prolonged shooting. So I'll, I switch over to my fingertips. Once again, right there. Thumb down, this is how it look. If I were to shoot long draw, and this is how it looks, shooting short draw. Long draw, short draw. Now, when it comes to releasing the pouch, you wanna make sure you have a clean release. You're just releasing the pressure, slowly, slowly. It, it, it should surprise you when you release that shot. If you're being or you're making sudden movements, such as like that, or pulling it away, your ammo is gonna fly all over the place. So you wanna keep it as consistent as possible and as clean as possible. And by consistent and clean, I mean you're slowly releasing the pressure, just like the trigger of a gun, just slowly releasing it. Almost like that. Now, there's a lot of shooters that I've met that like to give it a little pull as a release. You can do that as well. Kind of like archery, where you have a secondary anchor point. Uh, they, they aim at their target like this. They pull back. And then they keep pulling just a little to release that shot. I myself, I don't. I just release it as slowly as possible to get that clean release and shoot my target. Let's take a few shots of that can. We're not even that far away. We're about maybe, I don't know, six feet. <laughs> six feet from the can. But I'm just explaining the different pouch releases. So let me try the way I shoot. Put it right there. Put it right here. 
nice and aligned pull back the bands and when you release well if you like to keep it straight you can do that i however give it a little twist just like that so that it fits better with my cheekbone you can do that it's just up to you so here bring it back to my anchor point and slowly release the pressure and boom all right so that was the first shot and that was uh my way of shooting or holding the pouch let me show you the other styles that i've seen i know my buddy jesus from lone star catapults shoots uh over here on this section i think i've seen him shoot i met with him a couple of times for some shooting sessions and uh i think i saw him correct me if i'm wrong jesus on the comment section but i think you hold on this part of the finger so let's try that let's hold it right here and i'll be keeping my same secondary point right there let's try that all right man this wind never cooperates so let's put it right here on the top right here second point of contact drop the thumb down right there bring it back to your anchor point in this case i'll be using the same one and release slowly as possible it should almost surprise you bang that's another one you can use let me show you guys the other one i can't say it on there this time so i'll just keep uh, filming give me a second here I don't have a table. I'm using my pockets to, <laughs> to put the ammo and my marker into my hands. Okay, so the other hold that I talked about was the, using this one right here, the middle finger, and this part over here. So those two point of contacts right here and right there. This to me mimics a mechanical release there's a lot of people that have uh, or don't have I should say fine finger dexterity so they tend to rely on this type of uh, hold all right let's take a shot using that type of uh, pouch hold we'll put it right here and we'll drop it down there this to me is extremely uncomfortable. However, I've seen a lot of people shoot this way and they can hit anything. And I mean, I'm talking anything. Toothpicks at 10 meters. But basically, this is how it will look. We'll pull it back. Might miss this one because it feels very unusual to me, even at this distance. Hopefully it's not a fork hit, but let's see if we can pull it off. Let's wait for the wind to come down. Yeah, again, that is not my preferred one. Let's try it again. That was a bad release. So right here and right here. There we go. Yep, it works, just not for me. Okay, the other one I was talking about, a lot of people like to hold way over here on the finger and increase the elbow elevation. Let's try that one out. These markers are magnetic, so <laughs> it's getting the ammo out of my pocket here. This time, I'm holding way over here on the finger and increasing that elbow elevation almost all the way up. Let's see how I do with it. So right here, and this point will be the same. Drop it down. Elbow way up. 
Bam. Let's try it again. Right here. Bring that down. Bring it back to my anchor point. Bam, through the center once again. All right, so those are the different holds you can do. And of course, my preferred one is my fingertips, which is the one I use. Now, also when it comes to releasing the pouch, I've seen a couple of people keep their fingers open like this to relieve the pressure. That can give you a better shot. I don't, however. Uh, I don't feel that I need to, but if you feel that you're being inconsistent, try opening up your hand. So it will look like this. So if I were to use my regular, regular pouch hold, right there, put it right there, you can keep this open if you want. I feel that because of that gap, I don't need to. But if you have a tight squeeze on it like this, try, try relaxing or opening up your hand. That should be able to assist you in getting a better shot. Now the other holes that I didn't go over was basically the ones on the creases. You can do that if you want. Instead of holding it here, just move this dot over here or over here. And keep that elbow nice and elevated so that everything is nice and straight. So nobody can tell you what's right, what's wrong, it really comes down to your own personal preference. And if something's working for you, hey, keep it up. Okay guys, so that is it for today. Hopefully you found this video informative. Those of you that have asked me on my pouch release, hope you find this information beneficial. You guys take care. Thank you once again for all the support. Really do appreciate it guys. I believe I'm reaching already the 1,000 subscribers. Just a few more to go. And I'm extremely grateful to you all. Thank you so much. You guys take care. And as always, keep on shooting. Oh, the clamps stay on there. Let's see if we can knock it over. Even at this distance, at five feet, that's a lot of fun. Boom, get it out of there. <laughs> you guys take care. See you on the next one.